So we get to repeat the whole process now. How fun. C prime. So then what's the general formula for C prime? One over C prime is one over C two plus one over eight. Right, so then it's gonna be eight plus C two over eight. The C prime is gonna be, uh, flip that, eight over eight plus C two. So then that's a variable. The, the net capacitance of this depends on what you set this to, right? Uh, then these two are in parallel. And you have C double prime is going to be C prime plus five, right? Because they're parallel, you just add them. Okay. And what's that going to be? So then you're going to have uh, eight over eight plus C two plus five. Okay, then how do we simplify that? Um, you could cross multiply, right? So you have C prime eight plus 40 plus five C two over eight plus C two. Eight plus 40, 48 plus five C two or eight plus C two. Okay, and that's that. Then you do those two in series. So one over C total is, so then I'm gonna do one over C double prime plus one over four. So then I'm going to invert this, right? Uh, one over that. So then it's going to be eight plus C two over four, eight plus five C two plus one over four. Mm, then cross multiply one over C total is uh, four times eight, 32 plus four C two plus 48 plus 5C2 over, multiply this by this. Well, I'll just leave it like this. And then add this to this, 48 plus 32, that's gonna be 80 plus 9C2 over four, times 48 plus 5C2. Okay. Wow, oh, okay, but now we have to flip that to get the total capacitance. Uh, so then you have C total is gonna be, flip that. Okay, then we start going backwards. So then what's gonna be the charge on that guy? 12 times that, right? Uh, so Q total is C total, B total. So by now you learn it really quick because we've repeated it twice, essentially. Q total equals this times 12, 48.
Okay, then you go back one other step. That means you say these two have the same charge as that charge. So, uh, excuse me, Professor. Yeah. Over the just you did uh, multiply 12 by 4? Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. 12 okay. by 4, yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there you say, so this guy has, uh, these two have the same charge, right? These two have the same charge. Then, okay, ultimately I want to go there and get, get inside back there, right? So then uh, I don't really care about the voltage of this one as much in this problem. Uh, I want to now solve for the voltage of this, right? So then I'm going to say, what's the voltage of that one? Okay, let's go down here for a second. Uh, the voltage of this is going to be voltage of C double prime, right? Is going to be Q of that guy, Q double prime over um, C double prime. And Q double prime is the same thing as the Q total. So it's just the same thing as the charge of that. So then this, this guy is this guy. It's the charge of that guy. So it's 48. Divided by C double prime, which was here. Yeah, so then this guy divided by that guy. Sometimes you get good cancellations here. Uh, eight plus C two. Okay, so then it's like that. So you're dividing this by this to get the voltage of that guy. And you're just gonna say, okay, this one is gonna cancel this guy. Right, and then this one flips to the top. Uh, and you just have 48 times that. Yep. 48, this goes there, 8 plus C2 divided by 80 plus 9C2. I don't think we can simplify that. That's just, that's it. So that's the voltage of that guy. 48, 8 plus C2, okay. So now that's going to be the voltage of this which means it's also the voltage of this guy, of these two, right? So the voltage across this and this, these are parallel, that they're the same voltage. So the voltage that we have here is the voltage of this, which means that it's the same as the voltage of this guy, the original, and then we go back to the original condition of the problem. We want the energy of this guy to be four times that. So now at least we can come up with an expression with for the energy of this guy. So if I know the voltage of this guy, I can get its energy, right? So we're gonna do the other one, this one later on, but I can at least do the energy of this guy. So it's gonna be half times C times V squared, half CV squared, right? I don't need to find its charge. So I can say the potential energy of capacitor four Potential energy of capacitor four, half C4, V4 squared. Okay, so then half C4 is going to be what? A five. And then V4 is this guy, which is the 48, 8 plus C2 over 80 plus 9C2 quantity squared. I'll, then I'm gonna take this all to a different page. Okay, but then now, how about, I've got the voltage of this guy on the other side, so then what should I do? Mm, in order to go inside and figure this one out, if I know it's voltage, I should find the charge of this guy, right? So the charge of this one is gonna be, Mm. Q C prime is going to be C prime times its voltage. 
So that C prime was what? Uh, oh, I've got it right here on the top. C prime is eight over eight plus C2. Eight over eight plus C2. And then D prime is what I just found right here, right? Because this is the voltage of this guy and it's gonna be also the voltage of this guy. See this one, this one, they share the same voltage. So then this is C prime times this guy. 48 times eight plus C2. Yeah, so there I'm getting some good cancellation too. ED plus nine C2. Right? And then what, what's happening? The eight plus C2 at least is canceling. Okay. Okay, so then you're gonna have eight times 48 basically. 384. Yeah. Okay. So now let me take this to a different page. So this is my original problem. Okay. So then I've got the energy of this one. I've got an expression for it. And that's uh, this one right here. So let's let me just write that here. One half five forty eight eight plus C two. Okay. Now, I've got an expression for the charge of this one, right? Because I found the charge of this one, and that's the same as the charge of that one. So that one is the 384. Q prime, I can call that, Q prime. And that's the 384 over the 80 plus 9C2. Okay, so then this one, so now this kind of looks like the new paper with the circuit. So this is the charge of either of these because they share their series. So now I can find the energy of this one without needing to find the voltage of that one. I don't need to find it because I could say if they share the same charge, I could just say half Q squared over C. So you see, depending on which one I know, if I don't need to know all of them, I just use the one that I is most advantageous. I don't want to have to find the voltage of this, so I don't need that. So then I could say one half times its uh, capacitance was eight. Right, so one half C is eight, and then the Q is this guy. 384 over 80 plus 9C2 squared. So this is the then the energy of the third one. This is the expression for the energy of the capacitor three. Okay, one half, and then the capacitance is eight, and then this is charge squared. So now the problem tells us we want this energy to be four times that energy. So then we can say, mm, mm, multiply this by four and then set this equal to this. Okay, so then it becomes after that uh, uh, algebra thing, but then there's a cancellation too that I see. You see, so the the square portion is just this portion, not not this. So this only this portion. So 
you can see that uh, 80 plus 92 is canceled. Oh, that's really good. Right? Yeah, that's canceled. So, and the two is also canceled. Okay. So you just have to remember, this is the where the condition is, that this energy is four times that energy. Okay, so then you're going to have here, oh, everything canceled here. So except the 384 squared, and then 4 over 8 is going to be what? Uh, 2. 2. And then this is 5, and then this is 48. 8 plus C2. Square. Oh, okay. I could actually square root everything now. All right. And so then I'll get 384 over square root of 2. And then here I get square root of 5. And then square root of, well, the square root of this is just going to be 48. 8 plus C2. Oh, okay. So this was a case where I don't need to solve. I don't need to use solver. We don't need to go to Wolfram and solve it there because it became pretty easy. Um, okay, nice. Sorry, it's tilted because I'm a right-handed person. It keeps going this way. Uh, okay, so then we just bring everything down here. 384 over square root of 10, 48. 8 plus C2. 384 divided by 48 divided by 10 square root. Yeah, it's, it's not possible. Wow. Microfarads. So of course you you if the answer I guess you could say C2 is this, but then you should say it's impossible because no capacitor exists like that. No negative capacitor exists. Yep, I made a mistake. Oops, I made a mistake. Okay, here it is. I didn't multiply this 8C2. Gosh, how did I forget that? Okay, so then you have 8C2. Hmm. Okay, then you have here 8C2. Adam, oh, it changes it a lot. You have 40 plus 5C2, 8C2. Okay. Oh, but then that changes this a lot. Oh my God, you see how one mistake? Trickle down effect. Trickle down. Okay, so then when you add this, you're going to get 8C2 plus 5C2. It's going to be what? 13C2. I have 40. 40 plus 13. Probably one of you all saw that, but you were like, ah, he probably never makes mistakes. Let me not stop him. <laughs> well, this is, you should stop me. Okay, so then this is... Um, 8 plus C2, 40 plus 13. Oof, it trickles down everywhere. 
32 plus 4C2 plus 40 plus 13. Hmm. Maybe two plus four C two plus plus thirteen C two. Okay, over four forty plus thirteen C two forty plus thirteen. And then this is going to be forty plus thirty two seventy two. And then four plus 13, seven. seven. See everywhere you're finding all the places where that mistake, and then you have Q total is going to be uh, C total times, wait, this is going to be 40, 40 plus 13, 72. 17. Okay, so then you're going to have 72 plus 17. Um, 12 times 4, okay, that's going to be 48. So 40 plus 13. Okay, then you're going to have this number by this number. Oh, okay, so then you're going to take uh, this one, 40 plus 13, 72. Then you're going to have similar cancellations. And then divided by C double prime, 40 yeah, plus 13. over eight plus C2. So the four plus 13 will cancel. And then you're gonna have 48, eight plus C2 over uh, 48, C2 over 72. Plus 17. Okay, and then this one, the next step to go, uh, oh, okay, so the next thing to do would be to say what um, C prime change to eight, eight. So then you see, you go back to here and say, okay, QC prime 8C2 over 8 plus C2, then V prime everywhere that it's changed. Uh, let's see here, V prime. Uh, was that, where was my V prime? Well, this is probably going to change to, this is going to be 72. Yeah, 80 plus 90, so 72 plus 17. Okay, so then you're going to have here 48 times 8, 384. C2, there you have it. 384 over C2. Uh, over 72 plus 17 C2. And then you got here the charge is uh, 384. Okay, so this is going to be 384 C2. There's that extra C2. Okay, but this will cancel this part. Same thing will happen, this will cancel. 
and then you got here five halves. Let's go back to when this was four. Okay, so then you get here. Um, what? How does this one change? Uh, Forty. Uh, that was the half c four b four squared. Oh, okay. It's forty eight. 8 plus C2, oh, okay, over 72 plus 17. Oh, that part still cancels. Wait, that part still cancels. So the only thing that really changes is the extra C2. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's see if that helps. Okay, so now let's say we have, uh, so the, the equation will look like this. 1 over 2, 8, so it would be 384 C2 over something that canceled times 4, and that's equal to uh, 1 half 5, so this answer was wrong, 1 half 5 times 40. 8, 8 plus C2, right, times the quantity squared. So it seems like the only thing that changed is there's an extra C2 here. So the twos cancel again. Uh, just, Professor, that one is the square of 5 or is it 5? Uh, it's just 5 because it's half CV squared. It's half CV squared. That's where it's coming from. So only this is square, but not this. Because on the top is the square of five. No, it's just five. But then no, when in the I, bottom, in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. But when I square root it, then you get the square root of five. Okay. Yeah, but here it's just half CV squared. Oh, okay. Or actually, it's actually half Q squared over C. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm. Half Q squared. No, no, this, sorry. This comes from the half CV squared. It comes from this one, yeah. Half CV squared, so it's just five. Yep. Oh, and the yeah. formula. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then you're going to have uh, same thing. This is going to be a two. Then you're going to take the uh, one over 10, 384 C2 squared. And then that's going to be uh, 5. Now, we could actually take the 5 and uh, bring it down. At, uh, let's see here. 4 over 8 is 2. 5 goes down here. 10. OK. So now it's square rooted. Uh, square rooted. So then you're going to get 1 over square root of 10. 384C2 is equal to 48, 8 plus C2. Oh, okay. Let's see. It's kind of different now. Uh, 384 over square root of 10C2 is equal to 8 times this is 64, 6. 40, no, 8 times 8 is 64, 6. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 6, 38 plus 64. 8, 62. Yeah. Now let's see if we get a positive answer. 384 divided by 10 square root equals. Yeah, actually we get, yeah, minus 48. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, that extra, that extra C2 at the bottom is what did it. That extra C2. Wow. So then you get here 384. Okay, then the, uh, invert this function. Multiply it by 384. Okay. This that makes more sense because 
Uh, yeah, that actually is pretty good. 5.229 microfarads. Yep, 5.229. Because in the original circuit, when this guy was six microfarads, this had three times, 3.4 times more energy than this. So then it's telling you go down, make this capacitor go down, and this will have four times more energy. So the, the, the energy of this will go down because of the capacitance of that is going down. You're making this a weaker capacitor. This one, this start, this one will start taking more energy from the battery. This portion of the circuit will take less energy and then this will be four times more energy than that. Yeah, it works. Yep, yep, yep. 